What's going on guys, Greggles TV. Google Home is Google's answer to the very talented and usable Amazon Echo. It's about half as tall as the Echo and can integrate into existing smart home devices. It communicates well with the Chromecast by giving commands like play music in all rooms and it instantly plays music on every Chromecast enabled device in the home. Okay Google, play music in all rooms. When a notification comes in for you, it gives an alert and all you have to say is, Google, I'm listening. Okay, Google, I'm listening. You're Google then instantly relays the message to you. You can also send text messages to people directly by speaking with Google Home. Hey Google, text Louise, flight is delayed, dinner moved to eight. Okay, message sent. Google Home is a new hardware category for Google, but one that could potentially bring in and keep more users in the Google umbrella since it directly ties in with your Google account. Google Home will be available later this year. Allo and Duo are two new communication apps by Google that will be released by this summer. Allo is a messaging app that also has a virtual assistant built into it known as Google Assistant. Allo gets enabled by your phone number and no Google account is required for sign up, which also means it cannot be used by tablets or other devices that don't have phone numbers. Allo can be used to send messages back and forth to family and friends encrypted. You can also scribble onto a photo quickly and easily and chat in an incognito chat where the chat is encrypted from end to end. Google Assistant is integrated into Allo by giving quick responses based off what the other party wrote to you or analyzing a photo received and giving you quick responses and even offering restaurant choices based off certain words. Duo is Google's answer to FaceTime. It offers a cool feature called Knock Knock, which gives the person receiving the call a live video preview of who is calling. It also optimizes itself based on if you have a strong or weak connection and also offers an encrypted connection overall. Daydream is a mobile VR system Google is building directly into Android N. It will only work with devices that meet the specifications set forth by Google and that also includes the VR viewers and motion controller specs as well. Daydream will also include a software UI to launch apps, games, and videos. Google showed off a cool VR demo of a guy making pancakes on the beach. Daydream will be available this fall. Lastly, Google announced beta versions of Android Wear 2.0 and Android N. Android 2.0 brings lots of cool needed features such as watch faces that can now show any information and notification that you want it to. Speaking of notifications, you can now reply to them in three different ways. Smart Reply, Handwriting, and Keyboard. Smart Reply gives you pre-written responses based on the notification received. Handwriting allows you to scribble a message directly onto the watch face, and Keyboard brings up a keyboard directly onto the watch for you to type a message. Android N Beta was released today, and it allows you to sign up very easily and install Android N on Nexus 6, 9, 5X, 6P, Nexus Player, and Pixel C just by visiting android.com slash beta, signing in with your Google account, choosing the device that you have, and it sends the update directly to your phone to download and install. The coolest feature in Android N for me is multi-window support. A lot of what was announced today won't be out until the summer or fall but it gives a glimpse into what Google has to offer. Google Assistant was built into almost every device and piece of software Google mentioned today. Instead of us just speaking to a robot and the robot does what we say, that robot can now interact with us back and ask us intelligent questions designed to make our lives easier. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite things about Google I.O. 2016 were today. Don't forget to subscribe. I put a new video out every single day and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.